Hi, I'm Mike Fenlon. Uh, I teach physics at Zealand East High School, and what we're working on today um, is a project-based unit uh, on creating wind chimes. And uh, as we create these wind chimes, it is for our sound unit. Uh, so in place of taking notes and doing uh, everyday um, whether it be conceptual development pages or homework, we're actually designing something uh, that we can use uh, and sell, and then we're going to take those proceeds and give them to a particular group or a foundation or charity or something like that. So what the kids are doing is they're taking a piece of pipe, um, and some kids even, kind of cool, they, they're getting a little bit crazy using bats and things like that, which is neat, but they're going to take this pipe and they're going to uh, cut it to different lengths, and as they're cutting it to different lengths, there's a formula they use, they can prove mathematically um, what the frequencies are, uh, what the sound's going to be, what the tune's going to be, what the note's going to be, what the octaves are going to be. Okay, right now, I'm, we've already cut our pipes to length, and right now I'm just um, using our two nines rule that we found to where we are going to tie the string to it. So right now I'm just finding out where that's going to be on each pipe. That was good, man. And then from there, what we're going to do is uh, create that wind chime by putting them all together and uh, I'm letting them become creative with it, artistic with it, and uh, developing uh, something that's their own and unique. Uh, but that's our sound unit. So instead of doing a bunch of book work, we're actually going to be developing something and making something uh, like a wind chime to prove the physics and the math, uh, a little bit of the history uh, behind what wind chimes are and how they work.